In today's video, we're going to take a look at Noon Hydration Sport Plus Caffeine Wild Berry Flavor. We're going to compare it to Gatorade, break down the nutrition facts about Noon versus Gatorade. Uh, we'll go into the importance of electrolytes and how to use Noon. I live in South Florida. Um, my hobby is obstacle course racing, which takes place outside. And one day I was training um, in Kendall at Fit Zone OCR Training. Shout out to Fit Zone. Um, it was, you know, around 8.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning, dead heat of summer. I'm pretty good about hydrating, like when it comes to just drinking water and bringing plenty of water with me um, to replenish during the workout and after the workout. But I was struggling that day. Like the heat was definitely getting everybody. Um, if you're not familiar with obstacle course racing, basically you're running from obstacle to obstacle. You're jumping over things, climbing over things. Um, kind of like Ninja Warrior, but with a lot more running. And my teammate, Irene, noticed that I was struggling. She comes over and she's like, hey, do you want to try some electrolyte tablets? And she's always got her noon with her. I never had it before. And I was like, you know what? Sure. So she hands me a tablet and I'll just show you um, what it looks like. Basically, it looks like a Tums or like an Alka-Seltzer tablet. And instead of using it how you're supposed to use it, um, I walked away, I said thank you, and I popped it into my mouth. And I just start, you know, crunching it with my teeth. You are not supposed to do that. Um, it basically felt like pop rocks in my mouth. It, it felt like, you know, I swallowed it. it felt like um, there were fireworks going off in my throat. And it was just not a good time. Definitely don't do that. What you're supposed to do is, and I'll give you a little demo here. You want to take about 16 ounces of water. So I'll just pour that into this cup here. You can see this is about 16 ounces. And then once you got your water, we're just gonna drop the tablet into there. You can also just um, take a water bottle, which is what I would normally do before or during the workouts or a combination of both. I would crack the tablet in half and just put it into my water bottle. So you can absolutely do that. The ACSM or the American Council of Sports Medicine recommends that you have electrolytes before the workout to maintain the electrolyte balance while you're, you know, outside sweating, doing intensive exercise, um, and also to replenish the electrolytes after the workout. They help us to prevent heat stroke. Um, they help with muscle contraction, muscle function in the body, uh, nervous system function. It prevents dehydration. It's really used for a lot of different things. So in that situation where it's like 100 degrees out in the middle of the Florida sun and we're exerting a lot of energy, really doing those high intensity bouts between the obstacles and the running, this comes in clutch. So you can see now that our tablet is dissolved, it does turn this nice pink color. I like to call it my pink drink that I use for my workouts. Um, and the color, what's nice is it doesn't come from like artificial dyes like Gatorade does. It actually comes from beet juice. And you can see that right on the back of the pack. So now we'll take a sip. It actually had a little bit more of the tablet still to go there, but and dissolves pretty quickly. And I really do love the taste of this. Um, even though it does have 300 milligrams of sodium, I don't think it tastes like overly salty. I think the flavor in there hits really nice. I am a berry girl. I love my strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. So I really like this berry flavor, but this does come in other flavors as well um, with the caffeine. So I'll just read them off to you here because I don't remember all of them. You have cherry limeade, fresh lime, and mango orange. And each of these tablets is going to include 40 milligrams of caffeine with green tea extract. So coming from a nice natural source, um, doesn't get me jittery. I am a coffee drinker though. So I start every morning with um, cafe con leche. So that's the Cuban espresso. I mix in some almond milk and a little bit of coconut sugar. That's how I start my day. So the caffeine doesn't bother me, but really that 40 milligrams is going to be like having half a cup of coffee. It's not a lot. That being said, if you are sensitive to caffeine, maybe something to think about. But I like the fact that this has caffeine because caffeine is has been shown to be great for sports performance. So it increases your alertness, it increases your concentration, your focus, your reaction time, lots of things. So I start every day with coffee. I am a coffee drinker. 
absolutely am a coffee believer. All right, so we got how to use it, we got the taste, and now we'll go into the nutrition facts about noon. So we're gonna do a little comparison here between noon and Gatorade just because Gatorade is a sports drink giant. I think it's what most of us grew up drinking um, when we talk about electrolytes. And I want to shine some light today on why this might be a better choice for you. We'll talk about noon first. So noon has 15 calories uh, per serving per tablet um, in your 16 ounce serving. And then if you look at a 20 ounce bottle of Gatorade, we're looking at 140 calories. So big difference there. When we look at potassium, noon has 150 milligrams per serving and Gatorade has 75. So this has double. And when we talk about potassium, this helps the muscles relax after contraction. Noon also contains magnesium, 25 milligrams, which helps the muscles relax after contraction as well. Gatorade does not have um, any magnesium in there. Now, if you are deficient in magnesium or potassium, this could lead to muscle weakness and muscle cramps. So definitely good to have if you're exercising in the heat, sweating, losing those electrolytes. Now, sodium, this is a big one. So they are pretty almost evenly matched. The noon is going to have more. It's 300 milligrams per serving. Gatorade uh, for the 20 ounce bottle is going to have uh, 270 milligrams of sodium. This helps the body maintain homeostasis. And then when we're talking about sugar, this is where noon really wins. So noon has one gram of sugar. Gatorade has 34 grams of sugar. That's a big difference there. So if you're watching your sugar, you know, definitely take that into consideration. Another thing that uh, Gatorade actually has, but noon doesn't, is artificial dyes, food coloring. We all grew up with those commercials where you see the basketball player, the figure skater, whoever it is, sweating orange, purple, blue, and it looked really cool. But like, I'd rather not have artificial dyes or like as little as I can, you know, every now and then, whatever. But I don't want to be drinking that all the time when I'm trying to get my electrolytes. So I do like the noon. The coloring in here is from beet juice, like we said earlier. All that talking gets me thirsty, so I'm glad I have this here. Um, in addition to working out, noon can be used for, you know, if you are feeling under the weather, if you're sick, electrolytes are great for that. If I want just a little pick-me-up too in the middle of the workday, sometimes I might have some noon. I don't have to worry about like having all that sugar from Gatorade, right, if I'm not moving around much. So also a good option just for um, everyday things like that. When we talk about cost, I'll do a little comparison here as well. So with a 20 ounce bottle of Gatorade. Um, if we buy like an eight pack at Walmart, this is gonna be 81 cents per 20 ounce bottle. If we go on Amazon and you can find noon at a lot of different places, just like you can find Gatorade, I like to order it off of Amazon in bulk. So I can get 80 servings for a 16 ounce serving here, right with the tablet. Um, it's gonna be 51 cents per serving for 80 servings and you know, you are going to pay a little bit more for it um, up front, so about 40 bucks. But in the long run, you are saving about 30 cents per serving. And these are also super convenient. And like we said, it's a lot cleaner than Gatorade. I like the convenience of noon because I can take these traveling. There's 10 in a, a little tube here. I can take it to my races, my workouts. I can take it on a plane just traveling in general. Um, you know, if I'm feeling jet lagged and I want like, a little boost of energy and just to feel better, I might take some electrolytes there. If you like this video, make sure to click this video right here on the screen uh, where I make arepas with my friend Luzmar. We make protein arepas in this video, so great for your post-workout meal. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and until next time, have a happy, healthy day.